everyone. Welcome to today. I'm on my own, as you can see. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to put a fabulous capsule wardrobe together. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, Faye Brown, I'm a designer of Motto Fashions. I'm usually here with my daughter Lauren, but she's too busy today. So she's throwing me in this all on my own, and I'm going to have to blitz this. She told me. <laughs> anyway, so we're on social platforms every weekday at 1, and we usually share something fun about fashion. It's our girl time, so stick around and enjoy. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Okay, so a capsule wardrobe. You know, the first thing you have to consider about a capsule wardrobe is your lifestyle. So you know what sort of clothing. So I've kind of put my head in the space of my own wardrobe, so I hope you don't mind. And I'm generally five days a week at work and two days I have off, which is the weekend. So that gives you some idea of how you have to work out your own capsule. So you may have three days at work, you know, and the rest um, in leisure, then that's the way you've planned it. Always remember every aspect of your life. So that's the first tip I give you. The second tip is you've got to start with a colour of some sort. So I say pick your colour scheme. But today what I've done, I don't know if you can see all this, I might just turn this over just a wee bit. I've actually picked out green as my main colour. Beautiful apple green and green is the colour for the season in any case. But you pick your colour, it could be pink, it could be green, it could be whatever. So generally a pop of colour. And then all you have to worry about is your neutrals along it um, to, to, to mix and match with it. And here I have uh, white, denim and black, which is pretty much my, um, my basic colours, you know. And I'm going to show you how to put it together anyway. So I say get some sort of suit. My first tip. So if you're a working girl, you need a suit now because it looks professional, it looks fun. And you know what the best thing is? You can mix and match it so many different ways. You can make it work, you can make it play, you can make it casual. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. So this is my first outfit. I am wearing a cami. So you pick a fabulous fitting cami. I love this one. This is actually our checkerboard range. And it comes in a lot of colours. I choose black. Obviously, you can do any colour. If you Actually, if you want to really make this um, green pop, you could even do a, a bright pink cami under there. That would look pretty good too, wouldn't it? I always use armbands because we're always talking about showing your wrists, mainly because it's... Um, probably one of the narrowest parts of your body, and it's just flattering. So it gives you a shake, you know, if all the volume is over uh, the, the rest of your body, have a look, just by having my wrist showing, it gives me a bit of an hourglass. I'll pull the arm of the sleeves down so you can see what I mean. More boxy. More shape. Did you get that? And same with the belt, by adding something with a bit of bling right here, again, it gives you that shape. You always want to consider that. Um, a baggy pant this year is so trendy, as is a coat. So if you're going to be doing and making some sort of investment that, um, you know, elevates your wardrobe, so to speak, you want to make sure that it's something that's on trend because that way it keeps you in today. And, you know, that's a reflection of what's going on in your mind. So you want to consider that. Okay, so now I'm going to mix this up. So I'm leaving the pants on. So this is my first day at work, you might say. If I can call it Monday. How about I do that? That was Monday. Oh. Now I'm going Tuesday. Or not, I might have a different day in between. Because I'm wearing the same pants, maybe I have to have a day in between. So this gives me a tiny different look. You wouldn't have thought just by changing the jacket colour like this, that it gives you such a different look. Look at that. Wow. What a different look. So this is, again, just two neutral colours mixed with um, one. They're long, by the way. I know. I'm a shorty, so I didn't want to take them up just for today. But I'll swan around just like this. And I also actually think we need to add a bag. You know, I like to make the bag part of my outfit. And I actually have quite a selection of handbags because I think that's a really cool look. Rather than having the same handbag with every outfit. So in this case, I will pick a denim bag because it's sort of semi-casual, nice for work, got lots of room to put all my stuff in, and I'm always carrying so many things. And look at that. What a fabulous look. Because you know denim actually tones everything down. That's another thing to consider. I'll pop that down there just for a moment. Um, yeah, so when you're considering your bag, you either want your bag to pop out or you want it to tone down. Then it becomes part of your outfit, just like the little piece you have under there. And even this would look amazing with a hot pink cami, actually, or a bright orange. Yeah, it would look really sensational. So when you're picking your colour, just 
um, take note of how you're feeling it because that's what's going to help you through the day, make you feel, um, I don't know, more, more seen or make you feel a little bit, uh, you know, more spring in your step, something like you're just more happy or you want to not be seen so much and then you tone everything down with the colour because that's what colour's good for. Okay, so that's that outfit. And maybe with this outfit, I want to consider my jewellery as well because accessories play a big part of the outfit as well. Actually, everything does. I'm going to keep saying that because you know what? In fashion, everything matters. Have you heard that before, that everything matters? It's not just in fashion. It's about life, isn't it? Wow. I have so many blingy things on at the moment. Have a look. All these stack chains plus... This fabulous, and don't worry if these things flip around, by the way, because sometimes people say, oh, it's annoying how it flips, but it looks just as good that way, so it really doesn't matter. I'll turn it that way for now. It'll probably stay too. Anyway, so that almost changes the outfit just by adding that major bit of accessory there. And look, I might just hold the bag up again so you can see it with the cross. It all tones. What have I done, have I done here? Have I lost my armband? Oh, I was about to take it off, that's why. <laughs> I just roll them up like this. When you're stuck, this is what I do. Have a look. And I like it messy. I think that's cool. But to be sure, use your armbands so they actually stay up. This is a pretty good look. Do you like my little fashion pose there? Okay, so the next outfit, you see, that's flipped over and it looks just fine. Actually, I can't read any of the comments. Could uh, someone just... Uh, Come and fix the screen so I can see if I can read some comments. I'm not good at the best of time, but so when it's not working, it's even worse, isn't it? Okay, so now what I might do is add a shirt. So maybe, I'm not going to call it days, because I don't know if I want to wear the same pant every single day, because I do have things to, to um, mix it up in any case, but I'm just not up to them yet. I'll show you all my green pant outfits first. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm just waiting for Vera to come in and, and change the screen here. Okay, so what you want to do, this is our blogger, it's our best seller and honestly it suits absolutely everyone. I like to flip it back. The first thing I do, doesn't matter what I'm wearing underneath, is just push it back and let it sit like that on my back neck. To me, that is a really cool way to wear it, it's trendy and it looks, looks hot in my opinion. Okay, so we just flip to do an easy tuck because you don't want anything in your wardrobe hard, right? Let me know if, if you're one of those girls that just wants everything easy, because I sure am. So you just twist it that way. Oh, thank you. Now I can read some comments. Oh, you missed out on the blazer. Oh, you'll get another one. The green is fantastic, isn't it, Peter? Now, this is a totally different look to, to wearing the coat or the blazer. I've gone more casual, but still very very uh, appropriate for work because I've flipped that back. You're not too low. This is what I, I have seen um, on some ladies and to me this is fantastic when you're wearing a jacket but when you're just wearing it as a shirt, flip it back. It just looks a little bit more fashionista. You know, there's, a, there's something that makes you look like you really know your stuff and then the other side is like it's all hard work. Well, we want it easy, like I said. So just wear it like this and I'm also kind of fond of just wearing a belt um, tongue just hanging down there. I think it, there's a cool factor to it. I did see it on, what's that show? Just like that. One of the ladies there was wearing it and I've taken to it ever since then. I think this is a really trendy way of doing it. And to me, it just looks slouchy, casual. I bet if, if you're walking down the street like this, I bet everyone will be saying, yeah, she knows what she's doing with fashion. Don't you think, ladies? Looks cool. And wouldn't this look amazing with sneakers? It's another thing you want to consider. Always consider your shoes. Today, I'm probably not going to be able to change to many different shoes because mm. I, have, I, I can't take these heels off because the pants are so long. But I might just uh, pop them in front of my... Hang on. I'll pop them in front of my shoes in any case. Just so you get the, the idea of what sneakers would look like with this outfit. How about that? Does that work? Gives you some idea. I know I'm a bit crooked, but it gives you some idea of what the sneakers of this outfit would look and doesn't that look fantastic? It really looks like it's meant to be, yeah? So a little bit more casual, a little bit more running around, whether it's work or whether it's shopping or whatever your thing is, running around with the kids. Hey, even that looks pretty cool. Just move them aside. Now what am I up to? I think I'm up to taking my pants off now 
and I can do so many outfits with this shirt, uh, but I don't, I, I don't know if I'll just start with it. Yeah. Okay. It's like really funny because I've got so many things that go together, and then I think, how do I do this? Trying to do it so <laughs> I don't have to keep putting everything back on. By the way, ladies, I, I went to the gym this morning. Yeah, I think I'm going to be sore for a while. And I said to, to my personal trainer, I decided to go a personal trainer because you know what? I'm I'm naughty. I, I skimp with my exercises and then I don't get the real benefit. And if I'm going to go, I may as well get it right. Anyway, um, he told me I'm going to be sore. Yeah, and I thought, thank you. <laughs> so I need to know. Well, look, I'll leave that necklace on for now. Okay, so. The next thing you want to consider is a skirt. Now, I picked out another colour that goes with that. That colour, like this green and this blue, look amazing together. So I'm just going to show you together while I'm still putting all the bits on. Um, yeah, so what he said was, if you saw, you've got to eat more protein. I didn't know that. I'm glad he's clever and told me all that sort of info because otherwise who would know? Okay, so I've got to pull myself together here. Oh, rather liking the contrast of the white with the blue already. But... I know that my look is to go contrasty because I'm, I don't know, because I've, I've got such strong features, contrasty looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to tuck, I could wear it like this, which looks pretty amazing, and not only that, I could probably do the white blazer here, which will also look sensational, and, oh, nice, I look very professional, don't I? But if I, I mean, you can put on the blazer. We're going into summer, you probably won't do it that much. But I know that sometimes you just got to look professional and you don't know how to do it on a hot day. Well, this is how you do it. So at least you can walk in looking professional, then you can take your, your blazer off. And what I'm going to do is also do the front tuck and see if that looks nice. Yes, that looks really nice. And in this case, I will probably wear a belt rather than the chain. I mean, you know that there is a formula for all this. I don't know if I'm giving you all my formulas. So I said, consider your lifestyle, yeah. Pick your colour scheme. I did say that. Um, do they work good? Okay, so the rule to work together. You know how I hate breaking rules? No, no, sorry. How I love breaking rules and hate following rules is what I actually meant. Um, but this one is a good one. It's a good one, so, you know, you've got to keep the good ones, don't you? So you, you've got to make sure that every single piece you have, you can at least wear three times. That's a pretty common rule, isn't it? Has anyone else heard of that? Has anyone heard of it? Yeah, so if you can get three outfits out of the one piece, you're going well, and that way you wear it. That's the whole point. You want to make sure you wear everything in your wardrobe. Okay, so I have this. And it, it, needless to say, the green coat, oh my goodness, looks sensational with this as well. I'll just throw it over my shoulders just so you can get the colour look. Yeah. And in this case, I would do the denim bag again. Quite stylish. But I feel like it needs something there. Are you thinking that too, ladies? Yeah. Absolutely. What am I going to put on? My favourite belt at the moment is the motto belt. Because it's super stretchy, super comfortable, and it just gives you the look. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to lose that in a minute. I don't know if um, if it's going to hold up a really heavy pair of uh, pants. I've got it upside down. Won't matter, will it? We're all friends here, so <laughs> we'll just put it on upside down. Uh, and I guess it doesn't really matter if it's upside down in any case. Um, summer's already come here in W. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's so cold in Melbourne. You know, I remember hearing something like, we're going to have a long, hot summer. Even Melbourne's supposed to have this long, hot summer, and I knew exactly what that meant. You know what it meant? It meant our summer was going to start towards the end of the year in December, and then we're going to have three months up the other end. So it's not actually any... Um, you know, any longer in any case. So what am I doing now? Okay, so then what you want to do after you've just looped that is, oh, I think I'm doing it the wrong way. So do your knot because I think you just need that nice little focal point in the centre of your waist. And doesn't that look fantastic? So you're wearing your, your fabulous white blogger, which you can do anywhere, anytime with anything. Any fabulous knit skirt. Oh, go a knit skirt. I know some people are a bit afraid of that, thinking they, that it's going to show every lump and bump. But no, it doesn't. I mean, have a look at this. I know you're going to say, I haven't got too many lumps and bumps. Well, I do go to the gym and do a lot of, a lot of effort to, to keep it that way. But I've got my shorts underneath. That's the trick. Don't worry about those lumps and bumps. You can do that. 
He kept all his, um, you know, all his, um, what is it, body con stuff? You don't have to, because actually this shirt covers most things. If I wear that out, look at that. You wouldn't know what was going on under there. You really wouldn't. Anyway, nice look, I like that look. Mind you, I picked all these outfits, so I guess I'm like, it's gonna, I'm gonna like all of them, aren't I? Okay, so next outfit, I'm going to consider now going out. So I'm going to actually take my black top off and make this into a, a dress look. And you know just about, if, I mean, I, I check these out, just about everything here coordinates with everything and so much more. And then what you do, once you've got that core, you just need to buy one thing and it changes everything again. I'll show you that as well. Okay, now that wasn't very clever because I didn't, oh, never mind. I'm going to have to wear the blue top because I've got nothing on under this. I can't go off, can I? Uh, I'm going to wear the blue top over this black top, so you're going to have to bear with me. It's going to look a little bit weird, but you'll still get the gist of what I'm talking about. It just makes it look a wee bit more dressy. Oh yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I've kind of covered everything well. Just showing you a little bit there. There we go. I'll leave this belt on. And just do a bit of a front tuck. This folds back up really easy. I don't know if it's looking messy there. Probably is, but you know, you can do it next, you know that. So now, not too many people are gonna walk around like this. I get it, I get it. But this is where you can add your green coat and look amazing. How sensational does this look? And you know, I always flick it back. You know, that's my thing. I don't like doing that. To me, that's a real now. Actually, doesn't this look nana? Yeah, you get what I mean? So you just flick it out that way. I'm trying to show, not show that black under there, but never mind, I don't think I can fix that up. Um, and this looks fantastic, and you've got that belt. But in this case, I might even do a bright belt. I'm gonna change this belt by this. I'm gonna do something else. I want a bling belt. Or, I know which belt. I'll get my gold belt, which will look amazing with this outfit. my belt. See, that's why, you know how Lauren says, oh, you know, you always tie them up. That's why, so they don't fall out. I nearly lost this belt. If I was walking down the street, I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I? So let me show you how to do that again. I'll have to pop that down there. So all you do is loop it through there and loop it through there. And essentially, it's tied... It's tied the knots on the side, so you won't lose it. You can go swanning down the street and be fine. And I'll put the sneakers there, and I'm going to add this amazing, amazing belt. I don't know if you've seen our belt. We call it, I don't know what we actually call it online, but it is. It does have a bit of a cowboy theme, and what I do with this, especially when the tongue is so long, which I love incidentally. I mean, I'd even do it down there, but I know you're gonna say, oh, I don't like it down there. You just tuck it in the back there. I'll show you in a moment what that looks like. So here we are with my sneakers. Isn't that a great look? Yes. But if you don't wanna do sneakers, you can go out looking like this and it's fantastic. Oh, that's not very nice there, sorry. And all I've done is just twist it around there and it looks great. Even for that classic person that likes everything spot on and neat, I think you'll like it. Like this one? Just that little bit of pop of colour, just with that belt looks really good, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Well, I've got a few more to do, I don't know how I'm going. I thought I was gonna take I was gonna take no time to do this, but I think I'm running out of time because I'm overdoing it. Well, this is the thing, when you've got so many great pieces and you can make so many outfits, that's what happens. And you'll never get lost in your wardrobe. Like you never, you know, get tired of what you've got there because you keep mixing and matching. I'm not going to overdo things, I'm just going to add one more piece, which means I haven't covered the weekend if I stop now. You know that. I'm going to leave the skirt on for a moment. It's always good in the summertime to add a dress. And this is my, one of my favourite dresses. I think I've got it on the right way around. No, I haven't. I think I've got one back the front. But you know what? If you want the high neck, you can do it this way anyway. Why not? Okay, I 
going to change around because you're probably saying, well, I'll put it around the right way, babe. Are you? <laughs> uh, rib skirt and tops are a soft knit yarn. In a luxurious soft fibre, they are. Thank you, Linka. Is it Linka? Yeah, well, I'm wearing a headband today because I've got too many grey hairs. Yeah, I need to go and get my hair dyed. <laughs> You know, there are some people who look amazing in grey hair. I don't. It's not me. This looks brilliant. And you know what I've got to say? I don't. If you had to wear a skirt under or something under it, it looks actually quite nice just under there. But this is beautiful. And again, you can easily add all the pieces I've shown you already with these skirts. Have a look. Lovely. Oh yeah. Have a look at this. Nice, yeah? And, you know, our dresses have pockets. How's, how's that? Isn't it fantastic? And I just wanted to swan around. You know how I like to swan. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just going to do one more thing and then I'm going to stop, ladies. Maybe I'll continue tomorrow if, 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 if um, I end up doing, doing another live on my own. And this is with the white, yes. And you can even do a belt. <gasps> Maybe I'll just do the belt before I finish. And I'll stick to the same belt, so that means you know that can use one belt to go with everything, right? This motto belt is just so cool. Get it this way. And then I'll finish off my outfit and do the winter all on my own. Actually, I don't mind just hanging like that. I might even put it to the side. That looks pretty cool. I might undo this, just to give me a different look. Beautiful. So that's my final look. And maybe just to do my final pose, I am going to add that coat. Maybe I'll just put it over my shoulders. And there we go. I'm off somewhere, swanning around. Looking fabulous, of course. I hope that's what you say before you leave your house every morning. That you look fabulous, you look gorgeous, you look awesome. I hope so. Anyway, that's it for today and I'll catch you tomorrow, ladies. Bye for now. Mwah.